tool you can rename this anything you want so I created all the names on these levels for a particular risk scenario and um, I'm trying to make um, use of the Fibonacci as my limit order and stop order to build a script now these scripts I, I built here for instance these are some um, ones I made a long time ago that are like monster deep pending limits I only th the only way I think you can trade limits is from way outside current price the stop orders are really for if you're right here on top of the market so for instance this is the very first um, scripts I ever wrote and I made them so that it just kind of is a catch a falling knife situation here's uh, 20 pips but then it's gonna buy uh, 42 50 58 60 this top one I could probably turn that off and compile this and that's gonna look um, and it's got a master stop of back then I think I had such dreams of so much money that I noticed I put these monster stops I'm actually have a 30 pip stop here and here it's actually the stop is like 50 pips and this was my idea of a scalp bank and um, this would last a whole day and I think I was anger trading back then so all the scripts are built upon that and here's a an example of a um, what I call the Super Bowl because this thing the market would plunge into all these orders and then sweep out and look at this monster stop here 40 pips but I wanted to tighten up the stops because uh, realizing that and this is a four hour lasting and I realized that I probably was going to um, if things went terribly wrong of course on eight pairs I once once launched all these on some micro account so what I put up here is a 20 pip grid and in this instance if you're gonna get enter a stop order um, with no market orders uh, it does say market here but this could be a limit so if your first order is a break above 20 pip range and you have a stop at 20 pips but you're also willing to buy the um, pullback of um, and my best target exits way up here so this is what it would look like um, it's gonna look like this 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 buy stop to make that a break-even order you have to get out up here on that ticket the market order um, say you get out just underneath that's also a break-even but that's not too good I, I don't think that's the best now this would be uh, probably the way you should do it would be um, the, this la imagine the market comes down so with this situation here the market is trapped in a 20 pip zone and it's just messing around here and when it comes into this trap um, it starts to fill on say these limits but it never gets stopped out and then eventually the market it comes through at the top here fills that stop order now it takes its say first profit at the hundred level well maybe that hundred level is say this order the 38 entry is here the 50 it could be market or it could be limit is here and the stop order gets out here you have a master stop that never got hit and this is the perfect scenario for this script now overlaid on top of that you could have a 40 pip order that looks more like this if this is going to be your stop entry you're going to risk 40 pips to make the um, so your, your, your worst entries here this really depends on the uh, uh, 
of course, you, you're only going to trade four orders, and you have four exits. But this is all Fibonacci uh, leveraged, or to the take profits. Um, also, you could have this. Uh, this cannot be a stop order. So if this was a limit basket, because if the market um, is is happens to be trading up here at the time, and uh, you know none of these are triggered. These are the take profits up here, and then and the market's just messing around, and it plunges down in. That can't be a stop. But if, imagine those are our limits. So four limit fill, and one of these gets out here, and then the next one gets out here, and then it just goes all the way down, stops you out. But you've at least made. Uh, now that this is another another issue is which one of these should I get out at the hundred um, to if I'm risking forty. This is going to be uh, about, of course, this risk window down here. Here, let's let's do it like this. Um, bring this over into the middle. So I have a 40 pip risk in there, and I guess I didn't put enough pips grids in here to really count way up there. So let's drag this down. But if you had this locked at 40 pips of risk, and wherever you drag that on the chart, so here is your 40 pip window, and let's say we got in down here, and these are all limits, right? So here's your master stop. Here is a 40 pip window, and I'm going to turn on the chart shifts just so I can see a little bit further up in time. Okay, chart shifts on, and then it's going to be, I can scooch this over now. So you can tr see the trap zone, if this was, uh, imagine this is a limit order, and this is not a market order here either, so it's four limits. Four limit capture with a master stop. So in a perfect world, um, and of course this 100% is your take profit. So let's imagine that. And uh, this this one gets out. If this if my risking this much, it can actually get out. Say where the first limit got in. Um, now this one could get out. Say at the hundred. The fifty could get out here, and the six one eight could get out here. And you don't need to go for the four one uh, exit. Now, uh, this is certainly uh, this is taking advantage of Fibonacci ratios for profit. This may be a bridge too far up here. So if you scrunch it down to you just want to risk 10 pips, or, or you just want to risk uh, yeah, say 10 pips, and these are all limits. That stop is actually a limit. It's going to look like this, and that's going to be a pretty tight stop. So this may be for that, but you are making four times your money. But maybe you want to be on the five minute chart for those trades. Five minutes. Um, get this tool out. You're looking to risk, say, um, of course your risk window is from the very top if you want to get filled on a fat bank. Now this is a 20 pip stop on this first limit. And um, so the capture zone would have been like this. Had you dropped, of course you, you can't drop the limits unless you're above current price. So at this point here, even when you were up here, you could have dropped a, a, a limit order that started buying at, um, about seven pips deep if 100% is your your 100% right here now you drop the uh, capture limit capture and that's what that that's what that script would look like so writing all of these now here's a scalp order buys 15 
So if you can see how that would be, and if you zoom out to the next time level, you can see the um, 628 there. So like even this trade here would have been, I guess, a substantial bit of risk um, from the, uh, this is 20 pips. Your order bank would look like this. Or you could just place your orders like that. And you're really, um, in other words, if you had it like this, you would have got stopped out. Like if they would have come into this first order. So you can set the risk ratios up here. So you're going to risk 20 pips. So that's 20 pips, that's your first fill. Your worst stop is 20. Your, your tightest stop is five. So on the 100, uh, if this is your 100 level, when it comes into this capture zone here, you got blown out. If you had another order bank deeper, that was just another, uh, say, 10 pips deeper um, it would have filled for I'm not, yeah, I'm not, you would have got blown out but you're losing 20 pips now the rally up here when you saw this rally if you were gauging your 100 off of that swing top you um, sliced it kind of thin there but imagine you've got one right now, okay, where you had it from the swing high pullback. At a 20 pip risk, gauging off this 100%, you're buying at the 50, you're buying at the 30, uh, the 61 on a limit, even though it says stop. The markets, imagine these are four limits. Okay. Master stop down here and you scooped up all those pips on the upside. This way you can back test limit entries looking at the chart and expanding this to tool to say you wanted to risk 30 pips it's going to look like that right because this is 20 this is about 30 on that first order so a 30 pip risk with the 100 sitting at the double bottom so you understand you see these three double bottoms you put your 100 percent fib tool on that and now you can place all these you still would have got stopped out so obviously you had to run a 40 pip risk of course if you're going to swing trade it this is 40 pips first fill master stop you've set the 100 at the triple you project out you would have got filled here 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 you picked up four you cashed out of one at the hundred you cashed out of one of here let's see how you it's a little greedy because you were there's like no way right you're gonna cash out of those anytime soon you still have the double of the still the bottom here if you used it here 100% you would have got filled on two tickets left one behind and you did make the 618 and you even made this had you hung in there so just thinking about Fibonacci's risk tool as opposed to trying to forecast the market mm -hmm.